am Miyaka, and I want to welcome you to my kitchen. If you saw my recent video of me making the pot of gold for IMVU, um, I would like to show you this. So, when you are making something for a video game, like, or a 3D chat program, like IMVU, uh, generally the rule of thumb is you want to make your 3D models as low poly as possible and still look look smooth. So you do a lot of the smoothing and the shading with the textures. Um, when you want to 3D print that model, you have to smooth it out or, or you know, get rid of all the extra bumps and it adds more, uh, it adds, makes the file size bigger, but it looks better 3D printed. So as you can see, as you can see with the, uh, the cauldron here, or the pot, it's got the facets on it. I am so used to making models for IMVU that I automatically do everything in low poly. So it's it's kind of, I have to remember to add more dimension, more smoothness to my models when I convert them for 3D printing. Because otherwise you get lots of facet, facet, facets and it turns into more of a low poly print, which doesn't look terrible, but some people like that nice smooth quality better than the, uh, the, fa the shiny facets. <clears throat> when I made this model, I wanted it to be uh, a container so the gold the gold pieces pop out and you got an empty container where you can store stuff or I don't know, put a candle in there or something I guess if you want to so it's a nice solid piece I printed this on the CR10 and this on my flash forge at the same time and when I made this model I wanted the handles to be um, attached to the model. I want to have to have separate pieces. So when I printed it, when I orientated the handles, I orientated them up like so with very minimal supports. So they printed right in place and it turned out all right. So. And it snaps in nice and tight. No. and tight. So, um, it does kind of look like a witch's cauldron, so I think I might make a, uh, a different top to it to go for the different time of the year, so it would be like a bubbling brew with a stick come out of it, and I could just replace that depending on whatever, you know. So. Anyway, this model will be available on Thingiverse. It would also be available in my shop. So if you want your own, you can print your own. Just download it off of there. Or if you want me to print it for you, I'll print it for you. And I will send it to you. So um, enjoy the time lapse of me making it. I will do new videos every week. And I like to do mainly time lapses because uh, I like to do a lot of stuff where I am viewed in and 3D printing. And um, I think it'd be fun just to record what I'm doing and then show you guys because a lot of people don't see how much work goes into it and the time lapses themselves it, they make it look so easy but it's really a lot of thinking involved when you're making something if you haven't uh, if you haven't made it before so um and of course when you do when you do like the raw time lapses like the imbu one you can see that uh, it didn't quite work out at first so i had to fix a few issues before i could uh before i could uh upload the, the product to the catalog so um Anyway, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, like the video and uh, leave any comments that you want below and I'll see you around.